Hey there, look, I want to let you know something, and I'm going to private my videos um, for you. I'm not taking them down because I can't trust you. But what I want to let you understand, somebody directed me to read the comments in your videos, and I want you to understand something. I'm a little cold, so I'm, I'm shivering a bit, so the camera might be shaky. Um, what I want you to understand is this, hon. If you're getting panic attacks and stuff like that, I, I wish you would have let me know known these things. I'm glad somebody directed me to read your comments. That's why I'm going to private my videos. I genuinely love you. I genuinely care about you. I did not mean to give you panic attacks or anything like this, and you should have told me these things. Um, you should have reached out to me privately, and it wouldn't have made me worse. Okay? I'm glad somebody told me to read the comments, and I'm glad I did. Um, look, if that dude is your fiance, I think you're making a gigantic mistake. That's all I'm going to say. I'm coming down to Buenos Aires in March. I'm going to do everything I can to avoid you if you want to be avoided. Okay? I'm not going to see you if you don't want me to see you. I've told you that. I've meant that. I genuinely love you. I hope you understand that. Okay, I think what happened is you got sucked in to a trolling campaign against me. Okay, I do think it has to do with my former employer. I really do. I think they paid somebody to do this to me because they did. They prom my my former uh, boss promised to destroy my life. Okay, and this all seemed to revolve around my former employer in the beginning. I think you got sucked into something because you're the only thing that anybody can use to upset me. It's because I love you, okay? It is because I love you so much. And I'm going to private my videos. I can't take them down because I can't trust you, and I'm sorry I can't trust you, but you did such weird things. Like, the fact that you decided to participate in these campaigns of disinformation and lies and nonsense really makes it hard for me to trust you. But, yeah, if something happens, like you try to do something legally to me, I am going to have to fight it, of course. But it doesn't mean that I'm mad at you or anything like that. Regardless of how angry and frustrated I got, number one, I was never angry with you. I was frequently frustrated with the situation. But I never made any threats against you, because I would never threaten you. I've never said anything mean, well, I have said mean things to you, but I would never do anything to hurt you. And the fact that if, if you're getting panic attacks from this situation, there's two things I want to tell you. Number one, I'm going to private my videos. I'm still going to make you a Merry Christmas video and show you the, the present I got you that probably you'll never get. But I'm still going to make you a Christmas video in a little bit. It's not to give you a panic attack. It's to tell you Merry Christmas, okay? Or Feliz Navidad, okay? I'm sorry that you're upset as much as you are, but the other thing I would say is take a step back from these shows. Take a step back from these people, okay? I love you. You can trust me, okay? I want you to think about who I really am and think about what you really know about me as a person and consider that. I don't want you being upset. I don't want you having panic attacks. I I love you. You know what? Maybe I won't private the videos because, you know, I've been making some really good videos to help you understand where I'm really coming from. Okay? So I'm not going to private the videos. But what I am going to do is I'm going to continue. I'm not going to continue to make any other videos besides my uh, Merry Christmas video for you. You know what I mean? Uh, but I genuinely do adore you and love you. And if I'm upsetting you, that's not good. But I don't think it's me upsetting you. I think it's an orchestrated conspiracy against me. And I think there's plenty of evidence to prove that. In fact, the video that you made shows that I was complaining about trolls pretending to be Hispanics and pretending to be members of your family. And it was upsetting me. And I'm sorry that I behaved the way I did, but you have to understand the panic attacks you're having, I literally have a full-blown heart condition because of this. Liter I'm on medication. I'm on a beta blocker because of this. Okay? I don't want that to happen to you. Okay? I don't want that to happen to you. Look what they do to that woman, Astrasdia or Mary, and I'm going to leave a link to her channel to show you what they do to that poor woman. This is their, this is what they do. And I'm not going to let this happen to you through me. 
okay? Just know that I care about you. I'm sorry if I've, if I've scared you. My intention has not been to scare you. My intention has been to show you that I love you. A lot of the frustration and a lot of the rage that I have at them, at them, not at you. I want you to understand that. I am full of rage at them, okay? Not at you. I love you. I always have loved you. And I don't want you being upset because of anything that I did. And if you truly are having panic attacks and, and psychiatric symptoms because of me and physiological symptoms because of me, um, no. No, that's not okay. That is not okay, and I'm sorry, okay? And that, that's not fair to you, okay? And I didn't know that, but it's, it's not... You have to believe me, I was only defending myself from a bunch of lies. A lot of the lies you perpetrated, okay? But the thing is, it doesn't matter. If I'm hurting you, I can't continue doing that. So I want you to understand, I love you, and I'm sorry if that's what's happening. I know what this results in. I'm on medication for my heart because of it. I've almost had strokes because of this. My blood pressure has gone really high. That was before you got involved. They involved you in this. This was going on before you. But what they found out is whenever they involved you, when it was that chief handler guy or other people, what they found out is when they involved you in the harassment of me when they mentioned you, I would get furious. And the reason why is because I love you. I truly love you. So whatever you want to think or whatever, that you can think whatever you want. I don't want you getting upset like that. You don't have to be afraid of me. You never should have been afraid of me. If anything, if you should be afraid of anyone, it's the people that suck you into this because these are terrible people. I do love you. I do love you. You are my friend. You will be my friend forever. Please understand that. Please understand that I've not tried to upset you. You should have reached out to me privately from the beginning. Okay? It wouldn't have made me worse. The thing was... Initially, when you just stopped talking to me, it was so abrupt. And it was right after you expected me to come down, and you seemed to be somewhat excited that I come down, and then you're like, we have to stop talking permanently. And it just didn't, it didn't seem to mesh with what was going on. And I, at first, I'm like, eh, it's probably just autism symptoms or something like that. So I was like, well, whatever, I'm just going to go down and see how things play out. That was my, my original plan. And then my ex died like flat out, she died through like three times and had to be resuscitated three times. And that destroyed my ability to come down. That's why I didn't come down. But then after they started harassing me and threatening me and, you know, these people, you saw what they were saying. They were saying that you were pregnant and or not pregnant, that you had had a child and you were living with your boyfriend and I need to leave you alone and that they were going to kill me and they were going to cut me open. They were going to beat me up. They were going to do this. They were going to do that. I assumed it was your family because I figured who else would be saying these things except your family. Okay? Please don't get upset over this. I know that it's not your family. I know that you're not doing this to me on purpose. You're doing this because people made you afraid of me. I'm the last person you should be afraid of. I'm telling you that right now. I am the last person you should be afraid of. And if you don't want to see me, you will never see me. In fact, that's why when I come down, I'm purposely staying quite a distance away from you. It's so that you don't see me by accident. But Royce Lopez, I'm not going to do what Royce Lopez says. I'm not going to do what Hatman says. I'm not going to do what any of these people say. These people are not the authorities. Despite what they think, they are not the authorities, and they're not going to tell me what to do. But if I'm upsetting you, that hurts me inside that I upset you to that point. I do want you to feel a little bad about what happened to me because uh, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. It is ridiculous at this point. But feeling a little bad does not mean panic attacks. I don't want you having panic attacks or anything like that because I know what it's like. I spent two weeks in the hospital, you know, because I told you I was in the hospital with a heart condition. I spent two weeks in a hospital due to this harassment, okay, due to the continual harassment of these people. And that's when I was reaching out to you, telling you, you know, if I die, because I didn't know if I would live or die at, the, at that point. I really didn't, because nobody knew what was going on. They still don't know. I'm still at increased risk of certain conditions because of this, because the heart rhythm stuff. 
And um, yeah, I mean, look, that's when I was reaching out to you and telling you, please get a hold of me. I don't know if I'm going to live or die. I just want to say hi to you. You know what I mean? And you didn't reach out to me. And then a couple months later, that was when you said that you were single and childless. Okay. And essentially, you know, I care about you. What these people are doing to me and other people is wrong. The fact that they involved you in it is wrong. The fact that you're having panic attacks is horrible. And the fact that I've contributed to it really makes me feel terrible. And I, I don't really want to take down the newer videos I made. I'll private the ones that have your name in the title. But I want you to understand, I'm not coming from a bad place with you. I'm not. I'm coming from a place of friendship. I'm coming from a place of love. I really am. If it's causing you to be upset, it's because you're not understanding where I'm coming from. And I guess I can't clarify it any more than that. I'm just going to end this video with I love you. I care about you. I respect you and I cherish you. And that's why I don't want you having panic attacks. Please understand that. If you, if you understood how much I cared about you and loved you, I think it would help your heart relax a bit. I'll tell you what, after I knew what was going on with this, my heart has relaxed a bit. I feel much better. I love you. Please have a great day, honey. Please. Best wishes. Always best wishes. I will be making you a happy, a Merry Christmas video when I get your present that you're never going to get probably. <laughs> I love you. Take care. Really take care. Take care of yourself. Try and stay offline for a little bit. Work on relaxing. Spend some time with your mom or your or your sisters or something and just relax. Just relax. Don't go online. That's my mistake is I keep getting sucked back into this crap. That's why I just block them all now. Okay? That's what I do. I just block everybody now. Please take care of yourself. I don't want you being upset like this. Um... Look, if you did take some kind of crazy legal action against me, I'm going to have to fight it. But I'm not doing that to hurt you. I'm doing that to protect myself. And it's because they lied to you about stuff, okay? So take care of yourself. Know that I've never, I never have threatened you. I never will threaten you. I won't do anything to hurt you, just like I'm sure you won't do anything to hurt me. Unfortunately, some of this stuff might result in me getting seriously hurt by people because of what happened. But, you know, that's in the past. We can't change what's in the past, but we can change the present and the future. And well, the first thing I'm going to do to change the present, I'm going to private the videos that have your name in them. But you need to know that I love you and care about you. And I am glad that somebody told me to read the comments, uh, the comments in your videos, because it helped me to understand, you know, what's going on is not right. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're having, you know, panic issues and stuff. I'm sorry that I'm, I seem to be the cause of that. But I think if you look a little deeper, you'll realize that I'm not the cause. But right now, don't even look a little deeper. Just get offline, stop talking to these dickheads, and start spending time with your family and your pupper. And know that I love you. And I care about you. And that's all. Okay, best wishes.